Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Theresia Andrea. So I'm giving you guys a faux puff video that I found from Amazon and it only cost me about $15. And you guys, this faux puff is amazing. It matches my natural hair curl pattern to the T. It look a little bit dry, but you know, we gonna do it up for the rest of this video and it's gonna be a get ready with me and I'm gonna give you guys a makeup tutorial as well. First, let's get into this ponytail tail mold and I'm just going to go ahead to co-wash my hair not really like a product review because I've been using these products in my videos for some time now the main topic for this part of the video is just showing you guys how thin my hair has gotten if you guys did not know your girl lot is sick I found out I was sick about July August time and it's not new I've already announced it on my Instagram and I've also talked a little bit about it on my YouTube it's not something that I really want to have be the focus and the topic of my YouTube right now. I feel like there's other things that I could be doing like give you guys good hair tutorials and good YouTube videos. I just don't want to bring too much attention to the fact that I am sick and right now I am going through treatment and this treatment is making my hair fall out like crazy. I already knew eventually my hair was going to start falling out when I decided to get on this treatment plan but I mean it's just kind of crazy because on a random on Monday I can have full hair and then fast forward to Friday and I'm practically bald. I'm not gonna lie at first I was like super sad about it and I even was having a conversation with my partner and as well as my mom and I'm just like oh my god like I took so much time to grow my hair super thick just the way I wanted it and then now this. So I'm not gonna lie I was sad but I finally learned to I guess cope with the fact of what's happening to me and just knowing that yes my hair is gonna fall out but I mean it's not like I don't know what I look like with a shaved head or just a bald head in general so I've pretty much decided I'm probably just going to shave my head until my treatment is over I think that just makes a little bit more sense to me because it's gonna fall out anyway and also to me I think I look at it like this is something that people are dealing with and people deal with every single day so it's not just me so in my eyes I just look at it like like why not you know give cute styles and do something that can make someone feel a little bit comfortable about certain hairstyles even though their hair is thinning or their hair is falling out and even though my hair isn't as bad as it's probably going to get a few weeks from now or months from now I still wanted to rock a faux ponytail puff I've always wanted to have my puff this big and I found a way that can make it work even though I have bald spots so I just took out a little bit of my baby hairs and then I just put the rest of my hair in a ponytail and I love this hair gel you guys it is the gummy plus hair gel I've been using this for forever hence of why it's barely any in the products but I love using this with a baby hair brush because I don't know what it is about the formula and the consistency of this product but it does so good on my fine super thin 3b for a hair I just feel like it clumps all my hair together especially using that baby hair brush and it makes it so that it doesn't look as thin even though it is thin and I'm just going to seal that in with some Wonderlay Supreme Spray. I love to use this on my wigs, on my quick weaves and even on my natural hair because it's just that bomb. Don't mind like the white spatters getting everywhere. I don't know what was going on with that. So it is makeup time. I told you guys I am giving you guys a get ready with me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just shave and razor some of the excess hairs that I have on my eyebrows. Even though my hair is falling out, unfortunately, my eyebrows are growing in thick, okay? So at least it's one good thing that's happening right now. And I'm just gonna take this Anastasia Brow Freeze and just use the spoolie brush from ABH as well and just comb that gel up in to my eyebrows and let that dry and while it's drying I'm just going to underline my brows using this Fenty Beauty concealer and I'm going to be mixing both of these colors together the first color I'm going to use is the darker 445 and then I'm just going to highlight using the shade 410 
once I have that concealer under my brows, I'm going to let that sit and then I'm going to move on to using some primer. This is a beauty oil primer. It is winter time. It's fall, winter, whatever you guys want to call it. And it is a little bit cold outside. So I just want to make sure that I moisturize my face. And I've been using a oil because right now my skin is more on the normal to dry side. And I'm also going to take a second primer. And this is actually like a silicone based primer, but it's still hydrating to my skin. And I'm going to put this wherever I would have my pores. Now I'm going to move on to using some concealer. I completely changed my entire makeup routine. I do less is more concept. I don't know, maybe because I'm about to turn 30 next month. I'm like, I don't really want to put too much makeup on my face. I'm just going to use that Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 6. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and also on my chin. And while that concealer concealer is just setting and just drying a little bit. The longer you let your concealer sit, the more coverage it's going to have. I'm not really doing like a full foundation beat. It's mostly just going to be concealer and powder. I am using this brow pen from NYX. It's actually in the shade Ash Brown when usually I would use Espresso. Ash Brown actually makes it so that it's a lot more natural on my skin tone. I know it's kind of crazy, but it works. I'm going to use some of this Morphe foundation. It's their new foundation in the shade 32 and the reason I like it is because clearly it's not my skin tone. It is way too dark and it's also way too orange but I like to use that to counteract the dark marks on the bottom half of my face. More or less like a color corrector but it also gives me a little bit of coverage and I'm just going to put that wherever I want to cover any dark marks or spots usually on my beard. PCOS problems it is what it is and I'm going to take this Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai from the Jackie Ina collab with them shout out to girla and i'm going to put that over top of that morphe foundation and it literally creates my perfect skin tone and i'm also going to use a clean flat brush to push all of that foundation in my skin because it just makes it look so natural and then i'm also going to blend in that concealer Taking one more concealer from the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 330, I'm going to put a little bit of this in my highlight areas underneath my eyes, down the bridge of the nose, and the chinny off. Now I'm going to use some cream bronzer, cream bronzer, cream bronzer in the shade Hazelnut from Anastasia. I absolutely love this cream bronzer. It is such a natural contour bronzing effect shadow on my face and it just really highlights and lowlights all of my natural features of my face and then I'm just going to blend in that 330 Fenty concealer using a fluffy brush. Setting that concealer, I'm going to take this Calamari setting powder from Juvia's Place. It's like a yellow tone powder and it just really highlights all of my highlighted areas without making my skin look way too bright. And then I'm also going to powder my face using this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep. And first I'm going to start on the side of my nose and also sealing in that bronzer on my eyelids. And then I'm just going to take a small flat brush and just apply the powder all over my skin and it looks like we did a whole beat honey but only use concealer and powder period Now I'm going to bronze my skin and I'm going to take another Juvia's Place product. Yes, I know in the shade tan and I love to use the lighter bronzer. Like I said, my foundation routine or just powder routine has been very light. I don't go too harsh or any of my bronzing products. And I'm going to take my favorite blush. This is Crave from Morphe and just pull that blush all the way back to my temples.
sealing that in with some Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. I'm just going to use this to moist my face to prep it for my highlight. Favorite highlight ever, Glow Dust Highlight in Champagne Pop. Never really felt like Champagne Pop really worked for me back in like 2018 when it first launched, but I don't know, maybe I just advanced my makeup skills and I finally made it work on my darker skin. But I'm just gonna put this on my highlighted parts underneath my brow and my inner tear duct on my nose, chin, and highlights of my cheekbones. Now I'm going to use a super, super duper subtle pigment. This is from NARS and I'm going to use this as a slight eyeshadow today. It's like a slight glam neutral look for anyone that is interested in a super light beat like this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that pigment on the center of my eyelids and I'm just going to do a super thin winged liner using this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Highlighting my waterline, I'm actually going to use a lip liner, but this is from Morphe and it's like a nude highlight in my inner waterline and I'm just going to put this on both lids and I'm also going to put on some mascara. And another trick I've been doing lately is using some black liner and going in my inner waterline because it just makes my eyelashes blend in a lot better with my eyelid. And I've been loving the I Envy Mink Lashes in 01. Oh my gosh, I don't go too big and too stark with my eyelashes anymore. I kind of keep it in 18 to 20 millimeter for my lashes. And we are not done yet. The lashes look good, but we're just not done. I want to take my finger and just apply that in an upward motion to the ends of my lashes. And this way it just lifts my entire eye because my eyes can look a little bit drunken sometimes with lashes on. And I'm just going to transform my entire face face using this translucent honey from Laura Mercer and I'm going to take a super light fluffy brush and I'm going to put this powder wherever I want to mattify my face. I pinch this nose, I put the powder on any of highlighted areas I want to extra highlight and mattify. <laughs> And then I'm also going to take some of this Laura Mercier or Mercer translucent medium deep powder and I'm going to highlight underneath my cheekbones and this is going to give us a more lifted look to our jawline and make me look so chiseled. We are almost done with the makeup. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and put on the side of my nose because I don't want a super highlighted look on that side. I'm just going to seal in everything with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray and my face is going to stay like this for the entire day. No gas. Now we are going to finish off this faux puff tutorial and I'm going to use this edge control. It's like the only edge control in my opinion I've used that's water based. Does not curl up my curly hair baby hairs. And I'm just going to do some little zigzag swirly S swoops. I don't really know what these ended up being in the end but I don't know. I just kind of made it work on my forehead and to me I feel like it came out cute. And I'm going to take that faux puff from Amazon and I said it literally matches my little teeny weeny puff that I have on my head and I'm just going to secure that by pulling that drawstring and I'm just going to wrap that drawstring around my ponytail to make it a lot more tighter so that this thing ain't coming off at all. I'm going to give some hydration to my parched puff and I'm going to use that same Jamaican black castor oil spray that I use in my natural hair to give some hydration back to this puff and I'm also going to use a afro pick I got from Pattern Beauty just to fluff out this puff and make it literally look like it could be my natural hair and my hair is just long honey okay and just fluff it out with the afro pick give it a little bit more moisture where needed and just make it just look so real.
I'm going to finish off my makeup look using some eyeliner. It's in the shade Coco from Juvia's Place. The trick to having your lip liner last all night is to use a brown eyeliner pencil instead of a lip liner. Trust me, you will thank me later. Your lips will be the same for the entire night. But I'm also gonna take a little bit of this napkin and just wipe out the center because I want that super pouty look. And I'm just gonna take my favorite lip gloss that's not lip gloss this is from Jaclyn Hill and it's her lip oil I don't really know if she's still selling this because every time I go and find it it's always out of stock I don't know maybe Amazon might have it maybe not I don't know I'll try to see if I can find it for you guys but that is the end of the video you guys I love you guys so freaking much and I love how I made my bald spots work for this ponytail because you can't even tell I'm balding period thank you guys so much for watching can't wait to see you guys in my next next one and bye guys